Quantum theory is the principle that every single time exists at the same moment. What I mean by that is whatever happened in your past, when it was happening, is was your present at the moment, so the past doesn't really exist. In the future, when it will happen, it will be your present at that moment, so it also doesn't really exist. All that really exists is the present moment. And that means that the past and the future are all happening simultaneously. I know it's kind of a mindfuck, but it's a really cool principle and one I've been thinking a lot about recently. You know, since uh, the brain tumors in my head and everything, I've spent or I've, I've had to take a drug and it's keeping me from sleeping at night. So I had a lot of time to lie in bed and think. The last couple of days, actually, I've slept way better since I've internalized everything about what I'm about to tell you. But, you know, I spent like a good while not sleeping and just lying in bed at night and not being able to do anything. So I just had a lot of time to think. And it brought me to that conclusion of like, all right, you know, if the past doesn't exist, the future doesn't exist, only the present, and I'm kind of like all three versions of myself at once, then it's super easy to manifest the things I want in my life because I'm already that future version of myself. I just need to stop living as my present self and live as my future self, which is basically also the present self because it exists simultaneously. And with that same understanding, it's not just, oh, I can manifest the things I want in my life, such as money, such as, you know, nice things. It's like, I am already healed. I don't need to heal myself because I'm already healed. And, you know, it's been, it's been a slow process, well, slow, a couple days. But, you know, I've been slowly internalizing this belief and it's become, it's replaced who I am. It's become the new me, the new core of my being. And ever since then, I feel so much better. It's like I'm barely coughing anymore. My hunger is back. Like I'm eating a ton. I'm enjoying doing all the things that I'm doing. It's just like I'm already healed. And it's just such a weird thing. It's, it kind of blows my mind. It's, it's really, truly amazing. <laughs> and ever since then, ever for the last couple of days, I've existed in like this perpetual state of just gratefulness. And it's like for the first time in my life, I feel completely satisfied with everything. Satisfied, full, I don't need to accomplish anything. I don't need to do anything. I don't need to try to please anything. I don't need to try to do or attract anything because, you know, with, with this quantum uh, manifestation, it's like, all right, the future, I'm already my future self. Like I'm already attracting the things that I need, that I want, that I deserve in my life. And all I can do and all I need to do now is just enjoy the process and look forward and enjoy as I see those amazing things coming into my life. Yeah, there's a few things that I can do to kind of remain in that state and make sure those things come into my life. And one of them is just, I'm creating a video with, you know, phrases and music. And it's just, I'm listening to it the morning and at night, just to reconnect with that every day, not to try to force things to happen, just to live in that state, just to remind myself, this is who I am. I don't need to do anything. I already am everything that I need to be. And life is just so much more awesome since I started doing that. There's no fear, there's no uncertainty, there's no doubt. It's like, you know, in the beginning, when I started, when I got cancer, I started going through this and there was that shift at some point where I'm like, oh wait, my name is Guillaume Sauvé, saved, I'm already saved. The last few years I've been doing all these challenges to test my limits. This is the ultimate challenge. I'm ready for this. This is like that on steroids. Like there is no doubt whatsoever. And it's just, it's such an amazing feeling. And I know that some people will, you know, watch this thing and be like, dude, you have stage four cancer. You had tumors in your brain. You're fucking dying. You're delusional. But I don't care because I truly, truly believe in this. And it feels amazing. And at the end of the day, everything is so subjective. It doesn't matter what is real, what is not real. All that matters is how you experience your life. 
And right now, this is definitely my best life. I couldn't imagine anything else. I wouldn't want to imagine anything else. It just feels so good. So I just wanted to kind of try to explain that, capture that. It, it's hard to explain. It's, it's a feeling. But if a couple of you, you know, understand what I'm talking about, that's awesome. And for myself in the future, when I come back, when I write the book, when I, you know, share my story, I want to be able to remember the, the feeling that I had. So that's why I'm doing this. Ah, <laughs> today's a good day. No, this life is a good life.